We're reviving the Greek Empire today by taking over the entirety of Europe, or at least I hope I can do that because I've never actually wanted this game before. We're playing as the ultra rare Grease Ball, and again, we're at some pretty big disadvantages. If you compare us to France, for instance, um, we just don't have these same resources. We are starting off with a card that gives us extra defense, though, and I believe our starting Greek land is going to be pretty good, too. Obviously, we're starting off with just Athens, but we do have access to a couple of nearby cities that we can probably eat up. Inside of our city of Athens, we have a military camp, a shop, and a tavern. That tavern is pretty nice because I can actually heal myself right at the start. I can actually choose to immediately recruit somebody, but I think I'm going to hold on to them for now. I want to figure out just how bad we're doing here at the start. So I'm going to have to take over pretty much 52 other countries here. Like I said at the very beginning, I've never actually done this before, but I like our chances here. I now know some better strategies that I think are going to help out a lot, but it's also going to make those last few wars extremely massive. It's going to be like 50 country balls on each side attacking each other. Probably even more, actually. We start off with a little bit of experience. I'm pretty much going all into attack. We need to be careful because I'm only starting off with two hearts once again. If we lose two battles, game is completely over. Now, a big mystery we have to figure out at the start here is do we use our first three actions on turn one to get alliances or to grab land? In my previous game as the Netherlands, land was a scarcity, so I had to grab up as much as possible. I feel a little bit better now. I guess it really depends on what Bulgaria does. I kind of want to grab this city, but I'm not afraid of just like, you know, killing. In Bulgaria. I'm gonna have to do that. I'm probably gonna have to do that to all the Balkan nations. Sorry guys. Am I even strong enough where like someone wants to be my friend though? Oh, it looks like possibly. I like the idea of allying to Persia at the start. Kind of off in the corner. I, I don't have to break that alliance anytime soon. So I'll gain one friend and I think the next two action points are going to go to grabbing more land. I definitely want that and we're gonna call in our new Persian buddy. As long as we attack first, everything's gonna be fine. Oh wow. Uh, we actually did not kill him. That's <laughs> Everything's fine. Every everything's fine. We got it handled. So we just picked up another new city. This city offers us, again, a military camp. Uh, this guy is like a ninja, basically. He looks like a Greek ninja. I really don't want to waste any money recruiting guys this time. We already have a tavern, so we don't need to worry about that. I want to put all my money into investing in different cards, because there's a lot of cool cards. Like, we can get, um, like, a lightsaber. There's the lightsaber. We can get some propaganda, blade master, laser gun, which, while we're on this topic, uh, we should probably get some drugs, because I need to be able to heal in the middle of battle. I don't believe I can immediately attack this uh, city, but that's really what I'd like to do. Obviously, as Greece, we're gonna really want to kill the Ottoman Empire, and then we're also gonna have to kind of worry about Egypt down here. They're probably gonna be a mid-game threat. Alright, so yeah, I want to try to grab more uh, modern-day Greek territory, so I'm gonna go ahead and get go after this. Once again, we're gonna do fine here, although I really wish my attack was better. Uh, yeah, I need to probably put more into my attack. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that, and that is it for turn one. Let's see what the Balkans do, because if they move down south, that could be really bad for me. Luckily, they did not. Albania is going to approach uh, here. I don't really know what Bulgaria is doing. A whole bunch of different notifications. Uh, I'm not reading all this. I think I'm going to beeline for this city now. One alliance should be enough. I keep getting lucky with these rolls, which I think, you know, you're kind of weighted in the very beginning. They're going to give us, I think, the first row. Again, we still are not able to get these kills immediately. I want to be able to kill these rebels, like, on the first turn, to be honest, because I'm kind of risking taking some damage. Okay, more attack. I'm moving in after this city. Okay, this rebel is starting off pretty high. It was at 40 I don't want to waste any mana just yet. There we go. It's really early for the rebels to already be like garrisoning more extra units. I think what I want to go for is probably more of like modern day Turkey. There's a lot of land to claim over here. I might not even really have to go to war with an AI nation for a while. I'd feel more comfortable with uh, another alliance, but there's just so much territory to pick up. Like, I don't think I can do it. I also have a really good chance of completely blocking the Ottomans. We'll see which way they move. They were making a bit more uh, money per Per turn. It's better than the $24 we got last turn because the Ottomans are moving both ways. That's fine. I'm going to grab this city. Oh boy. Okay, so we didn't attack first this time. Everything should be fine, but maybe I should give my guy some shield just, just to make sure. Extra defense. Good. Attack Persia. That's cool too. And we got the crit. So this new city, Konya, has a barracks, which we didn't have before. I definitely want to go ahead and do this. Now, do not be fooled by these uh, mini games. These are extremely intense. Some of the most intense gameplay I've ever had to deal with in my job job here is to shoot everyone that is not Greek. That wasn't obvious enough. What is he carrying? Okay, so by doing that mini game, we just uh, level up our attack even more. I can spend money to do it again, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm also going to do a uh, flappy bird to help with my defenses. Okay, I immediately died. I'm going to have to waste some money on that. <laughs> I was not paying. Oh my goodness, why am I so horrible at this? Uh, this is actually not good. I don't think I've ever failed at this mini game before. What is wrong with me? Is Greece 
does is Greece not jumping that high? Why do I feel like this is harder than the other times I've had to do it? Okay, so we got extra defense and extra health by doing that. We do have access to another military camp. This guy's strong, but like I said, we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna rely on my army being a majority of just puppet states. Again, I'm going all in for attack. Is there any like high tax uh, provinces next to us? I'm seeing nine, six, five. I guess I'll go after this island. Now we're able to win with pretty much just one turn. All right, by turn three, our Greek empire is looking something like this. I want to start thinking about getting a puppet here soon. So the Ottomans did win their battle against the rebels here. I don't think I want a puppet right now. I think I want to continue to grab up all this land before like Georgia and everyone. And I also think as time goes by, uh, we're going to be looking stronger and stronger. Maybe Bulgaria will just willfully become our puppet. Oh, it's looking like we're about the same size. That's not good. How is their defense so high? I guess it's because I'm putting all of my points into attack. Maybe I'll just do like one extra and then attack. Cyprus is going to steal that from me. I guess that's okay. Like I said, I want to cut off the Ottomans, so I might just eat up all this stuff. All right, we've pretty much just smashed them. They do have access to a, a port, which means I think they can port over to someplace else, but at least we don't have to worry about them getting more territory next to me. Kingdom of Spain has declared war on Portugal. Also, Czechoslovakia and Saxony have become allies. Ooh, Bulgaria and Romania. Okay, that actually impacts me, and I, I don't like that. I was going to go after... So maybe I'll go after Albania instead. Albania is really trapped here because they don't have access to a port. Yeah, we definitely want to go after them, I think think first. It's still a little bit too early. I think I want to easily grab up these final three territories and then we'll think about a war. I maybe should do a little bit of defense. I don't want to get smacked into oblivion instantly. My big problem is if Persia doesn't want to help me attack Albania, then this could get close. I might want to recruit just like a meat shield, to be honest. I think I have enough money to at least get like one meat shield. And by meat shield, I'm not talking about a card. I know that technically speaking, you probably can get like a meat shield card. At least that sounds like it'd be in this game. Wow, I almost just died. Is there anything over here? There's literally no buildings in here besides this one. Oh, that guy's pretty powerful. That seems like a lot of money though. I can get this guy who would be pretty good. I think I might actually do that. I'm gonna go ahead and get one. That way I don't have to worry about Persia's allegiance or whatever. Okay, next up, I really need to heal myself. Fruit Ninja. Alright, next turn. Please Albania, do not ally to anybody. Soviet Union declared war on Latvia, Finland, and Russia become allies. Estonia and Latvia become allies. Alright, good. And the Ottomans did jump um, using their ports to the other side of the Black Sea. That's fine. Now the Albanians only have access to two territories which means I can wipe them out right now, technically. Okay, Greece has declared war on Albania. Here we go. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, Persia does not want to help me out, but that's okay because we have a friend. And also, the friend that I recruited is pretty powerful, too. Like, he's on par with, like, the level at this point in the game. Okay, this guy's holding this big old pistol, which is a little bit concerning, but we're fine. We're gonna get him. And last province already. Luckily, we attacked first both times, which means we easily got the win here. Is there more? Albania's gone. I didn't even have the chance to puppet them. I was supposed to kind of puppet them there, but, uh, alright, that's fine. Montenegro has no friends. Maybe Maybe I can just puppet Montenegro. I can technically... Oh, I've already reached my limit. That's right. It takes one action to declare war. So maybe I'll declare war next time. Now, Montenegro has actually got some garrisons in there. So that's not going to be too fun. A little bit scared because uh, I just realized, like, there, there's a lot of scary forces around me. A lot of them have allies, too. Ukraine and Poland become allies. Prussia and Saxony become allies. The Netherlands and Bavaria have allied. France declared war in Luxembourg. All right. Oh, that's right. I've got a bunch of these points. Let's get the defense up there. So if I were to attack Montenegro, there's two garrisons there. This this would not be that great. I actually don't know if I could win this without recruiting one more guy, which I could. I, I can't afford to recruit one more guy, but do I want to do that? Not not really. Am I getting anything out of the Albanian territory? There is some stuff here. Tavern and a shop, but that doesn't really matter anymore. This is a for... See, I should do this. I think I will. I think I, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Just keep it safe. I probably wouldn't be using my cards anyways. Okay, I'm declaring war. Before I even attack, can I just, like, peace out with you? Do you want to just be my puppet without having to fight? By recruiting that new member, we do look a bit more powerful. Nope, they said no. Okay, so we actually have to go into battle. Uh, Persia does not want to help out, so it's going to be 3v3. It's going to be a pretty big battle early on here, but we go first. Okay, we got very lucky with that. Do I want to do anything with my mana. I think we have this. I mean, my dude already has less health because I improved my health. I'll go ahead and just, yeah, do it. I, I gotta go back to the shop anyways. Let's see if I can get an instant kill. Nice. Ooh, that guy didn't do much damage at all. Oh boy. Alright, well that was my weaker one. Uh, let me go ahead and heal him up. Maybe do it again. Okay, we have no more mana. Let me make sure I get that kill. So this guy's gonna stay, oh, he just he just slept. That's fine. We got it. It's now 2v1. Again, the meat shields are nice. That's basically what we want. Okay, so yeah, we want to puppet Montenegro. I mean, 
if, if when I get like 12 puppets, I'll probably just annex them at some point just because I don't want to have like 12 puppets. I know that you want to have that in this game now. I don't want that many. I don't know. That's dumb. I don't know what I'm talking about. Can you break your alliance with Romania, Bulgaria? That would be nice. So I don't feel like going to war. I've got one more action point this turn. I need to make sure that I'm using all of my actions every turn. Let's go ahead and try to find a new friend. Great Britain would be kind of a cool friend to offer alliance. They're also a pretty powerful country ball. So there we go. Greece and Great Britain. We're, you know, historical allies. More into attack. Wait, what is Spain? I've never seen rebels, Spain on top of this table, and then Belgium. I think they're trying to distract me so that I lose this mini game. What's even going on with the uh, Portuguese uh, Spanish war? Looks like the Portuguese are definitely winning. Also, Morocco's attacking down here. I think that's just rebels, though. Uh, no one has decided to attack these rebels. We can probably take them with all the new friends. I, I think I'll do that next turn, unless, I don't know, Cyprus attacks them. The Ottoman Empire has declared war on Ukraine. Ooh. Egypt has declared war on Greece. Okay, so that just Persia has declared war on Greece. Okay, I now have... Okay, wow. Well, um, at least I have Britain on my side. Persia's not even that powerful. They only got one territory. Uh, now Egypt, on the other hand, they've got a lot down here. I guess I can go attack Egypt. I, I guess I'm gonna have to leave these rebels alone, too. Wow, there are two units garrisoned. Maybe I'll go in after... Wait, oh, that's Palestine. I can call in... Wait, Persia declared war... Oh! Oh, Persia declared war on Egypt, not me. I don't know why I thought they declared war on me. We should have enough here. It's five versus three. I think we're okay. Ooh, we're fighting in the desert. I don't I don't think I've fought in the desert before in this game. We're going first with all five of our dudes. Uh, hopefully I have enough attack to smack him. Nope, I didn't kill him, but luckily that guy cleaned it up. Nice. Can you just take him out? No, you can't. Well, he slept. We're fine. All right, big first battle. We got kind of lucky there because it really kind of just depends on whoever goes first in this game. You got more garrisons right there. Okay, what if I just take your capital then? By taking your capital, you might want to peace out next turn. Oh, you only have one guy fighting here. Where? Wow, wow. That was crazy. Instant kill. Okay, so how about you... Uh, become my puppet here, Egypt. No, they said no. Wow, Egypt, you have like no territory. What were you thinking? I thought you had all this stuff. That's Palestine. I'll just take on you just in case, I don't know, like Persia dies next turn, which is possible. I like going to war because we do get um, a lot more money per turn after every war. Why would you attack? Oh my goodness. Was that my main dude? Yeah, that's my main Greek ball. I gotta go heal myself now. Let's go ahead and maybe do a lot into health. I need to do some defenses too, though. This is the other reason why you want to have a bunch of puppets, because I don't want to have to constantly heal my dude when the enemies like, you know, attack me. Something else we need to keep in mind are going towards the provinces that allow me to get tanks. So that is Rome, Paris, and London, I know for sure. I don't know if there's more than just that. It looks like Berlin offers some tanks too. Oh, Vienna as well. So I need to make my way up because tanks are going to be pretty crucial here. What do we get in Cairo? The great city of Cairo. Wow, this is beautiful. Really like the background. I can get um, another body, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. We're going to go to the next turn. I'm sure Egypt is going to launch a counterattack. They launched at least one, but just, just take the offer. Take the offer to be my puppet. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna kill you then. I want this territory under my control, so I'm gonna go ahead and attack that. We don't even need to worry about our territory being attacked because we can kill Egypt right now. At least puppet them. And there we go. Okay, so I will uh, confirm the puppet. That attack goes away. I now have another slave in my slave army. That's essentially what we're doing here is Greece. Let's be real. I have one more attack. I'm gonna go ahead and fight these rebels because I definitely have an, a big enough army to take them on. Seven versus four already. This should be a piece of cake, especially if we're getting crits like that. Okay, don't, don't do no damage. Uh, don't, you can't just do nothing. I didn't know this guy had 71 on him. I think I would like to invest in a nice card. We've got 1,200 bucks. Everyone was telling me that bullet is OP, but I, I don't really, why? Gives three extra attack. I mean, I don't really see why that would be. I like how the glass of water fills your mana. Oh, but it costs zero. I see. Okay, yeah, we probably want that. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that. Libya and Tunisia have become allies. That's something to keep in mind because those are nations that I border. Now, am I getting to the point where I'm like strong enough to just like instantly puppet people. Probably not just yet, but we're getting close, I think. I'm um, gonna go keep going into attack. Attacking the Ottomans might be interesting because they are already fighting Ukraine right now. And I feel like this is a good time in the video to maybe change the name of this city. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's not Istanbul, but it's also spelled a little bit strange. Change the spelling of this city, maybe. Ooh, it says that we actually don't have that significant of, a, of an advantage over them. I'm gonna go ahead and do this, but I'm a little bit scared about that. Egypt has declared war on the Ottomans. Montenegro has declared war on the Ottomans. Uh, but that is it. None of my allies want to help out with this. So this would be five versus three. We should be able to have it handled. Although if I don't go first, oh, we're going to be okay, I think. Let me go ahead and get this kill with the guy with the pitchfork. Nice. Montenegro is powerful. I don't know. Or, or are they just like, do they just seem powerful? No, they actually are powerful. Okay, I need to keep this in mind. Like when I decide to whatever, annex certain people. Egypt's, they're only at a 10 attack. Meanwhile, Montenegro is at 20. I like that because we've instantly captured some territory. I'm not going to be able to attack there. Well, actually, I can go for the capital right now. 
Now, maybe I'll do that. There was only one Ottoman protecting Constantinople. Talk about a reverse card. The Greeks are taking it back. There we go. It's now ours. Okay, that's it for this turn. Greeks can celebrate. They've been waiting so many years for this. Prussia and the Netherlands have become allies. Estonia and Russia become allies. And that is it. Puppet, puppet, puppet. They're saying that I'm not that powerful compared to the Ottomans. All right, well, we're going to see. We're going to see about that. And now we should be able to launch an attack here and finally kill them once and for all. This is their last territory. There is an extra Ottoman troop there, but yeah, that's not going to be a problem. Wait, it's weird how sometimes, wait, oh, they have more territory? Where's their last territory at? Is it up here? Oh, it is. Wait, that's Poland. Oh, they're over here. Whoa. Oh, they got way up into the north of the Black Sea. Oh, because they were taking things from Ukraine. Did you kill Ukraine? They almost did. Soviet Union, if Ukraine had become allies, I would rethink that if I were you. Bulgaria and Serbia is, did you declare war? Hold on, I wasn't reading that. Yeah, they declared war. Okay, good. So we've got some distractions happening in the Balkans. We are literally forming the Byzantine Empire. I didn't even mean to do that. Just realize what I've done right now. Okay, offer puppet. You still don't want it. All right. Whoa, the Ottomans are fighting this huge, can I, can I do a three-way? Imagine we like have, we're fighting the rebels and the Ottomans at the same time. Okay, I think I should be able to kill the Ottomans right now. What a change in territory. We are literally fighting in the Egyptian deserts not that long ago. Now we're fighting in the icy tundra of Ukraine. Can I go? Oh, and I have to wait for Ukraine to be done with this. And I can't attack the rebels either. Oh man, I hope Ukraine doesn't steal the Ottomans from me. Well, I have two more action points and I can't keep going after the Ottomans. So who do we fight next? Oh, the Egyptians built up, uh, I, they, they gave me a garrison. Oh, this guy's a pretty strong one too. Okay, thank you. Romania and Bulgaria are so weak that I maybe should just go take them out. Look at Cyprus. They got four garrisoned here. That wouldn't be too fun. We still could probably handle it, but I don't really want to do that. I want to test that just yet. We got some more money for some cards. We should probably spend this on something. Blocks some damage. I wouldn't mind that too much. A wrench gives one plus a defense or upgrade tank if used on it. Ooh. Okay, we don't have any tanks yet, but we're going to be making our way for some tanks or a musket. You know, I'm going to get this musket. That just sounds cool. Okay, well, I think we need to start doing some moves, honestly. So let's go ahead and declare war on the Balkans. Did the Romanians break their alliance with Bulgaria? Because they're actually not coming to their aid. Did I miss that notification? Nobody respects me. I keep offering puppets, you know, and no one's taking it. Big war happening in the north with the Soviet Union and Russia. Libya has declared war on the Kingdom of Greece. Okay, we're now, we've now gotten ourselves into three different wars. Libya has attacked one of our territories. Italy and Bavaria became allies. Okay, so this is chaotic. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and just kill Bulgaria because we need to get out of some wars. Or maybe I can just offer them, maybe they'll take it now. Fighting three nations at one time. They're not going to take it now. Okay, Bulgaria is now just gone. They're not letting me puppet them though. Maybe we have too many puppets. I guess maybe when the game wants you to have more puppets, they will ask you if you want the puppet. Uh, how big is Libya? Libya's got a lot of Saharan lands, like deep into Africa, but it's only technically four territories, so that's not too bad. Can I move in after the Ottomans now? No, because the Ukrainians took this. I really want Kiev. Please, Ottomans. Please. Just, just accept it. You're gonna get killed by the Ukrainians if you don't. Okay, this seems like this is gonna be where the big stack of rubbles are at. I remember that happening last game. Okay, so I have to defend my territory here. I don't know why you are attacking me. You, you, do you realize what you've done? Look at this army that we've built up. Let's see how much luck you have with when you attack first and with an extra dude. Well, at least you killed Montenegro, but that is not gonna be enough. Yeah, Montenegro is pretty much like they can punch really hard, but they have like a glass chin. Ukraine's declared war on Greece. Um, interesting. Great Britain has declared war on Ukraine. Thank you. The Ottomans and Poland have become allies. The Polish will not be pulled into this war, luckily though. I cannot take on these rebels until I have like multiple tanks. Dang, the Ottomans kept on moving. This is crazy. And, and are they still, we still look so weak compared to them. You down? No, you're not down. I think I have too many puppets for the AI to want to accept. I wonder if I have more of a chance. Maybe this is dumb, but I kind of want to see the experiment. If I annex, oh, I don't want to annex countries though because it actually takes two action points to do that annex puppet uh, yeah, I don't want to do that. I wanted to do an experiment, but it's probably not worth it. Okay, we have three Libyans here protecting the capital. This is actually kind of intimidating, but it's still not enough. I'm going to focus on killing Libya for now, and then we'll go after Ukraine, I guess. Does the Sahara Desert change colors the more we go westward or something? Clearly, Libya has other territory that I was not paying attention to. Oh, they have the islands here in the Mediterranean. Ooh, yeah, I want those. What does this new city offer us? Does it offer us anything? Military camp? Nope, don't want that guy. Maybe I'll increase our defenses by getting this thing. Oh, I will take this character. Thank you, Libya. Very epic. Sweden's declared war on Norway, and uh, Spain and Morocco become friends. How's my British ally doing? Looks like they're alive and well. They're, they're gonna survive, so that's good. I don't want my friend to die over here, because they are providing a lot of extra support to me. I love how the Ottomans have literally been banished to Belarus. Wait, I can't technically attack 
uh, Sardinia because wait, so did the Libyans have access to a port that was closer by and then they lost? Yeah, because Libya was at war with somebody. I don't know who it was. Algeria. Does Tunisia have any friends? Tunisia is allied to well, I'm already at war with them. Maybe I'll just go take them out too. There's a lot of wars we'll be involved in. Offer uh, puppet. I've got a good amount of no. Okay, never mind. I actually like when people declare war on me because it saves me an action point. Okay, so I'm gonna go after you guys because I want those islands in the Mediterranean. So I will have to fight uh, both the Libyans and the Tunisians at the same time, but that won't be a problem. I am also getting uh, less aid from my friends. The British don't want to help me out with this one, but that's okay. Oh my goodness, I did not pay attention to that. Six dudes. Okay, well, let me just let me just get an eye. Let me just let me see what we got here. Oh, I actually cannot fight these guys. Whoa, what the heck? Um, I don't know what to do about that. Maybe get a bunch of extra mana and then, you know, pray that we go first. We probably won't go first, to be honest. Okay, I'm starting to see that we're going to need a tank here soon. I'm going to raise my defenses too. Um, well, luckily I could probably peace out with Tunisia and they'll give it to me. Can you just be my puppet? No, I do not want to have to fight that. I still can't attack the islands that I want. I can peace out with them, but uh, this kind of throws a big wrench in my plans. Well, all right. I think I'm just going to peace out with Tunisia then. Especially if they don't want to be my puppet. Um, okay, yeah, never mind. I want to fight you. <laughs> so that kind of wasted an action point, unfortunately, but I didn't really have any other option. We're not going to get those islands, so I might as well peace out with Libya as well. But maybe I won't waste that point either. I mean, what's the point of wasting that point? They can't attack me anyways, so maybe I'll just wait until they want to be my ally or something. They still don't want to be my puppet. I kind of want to go in here and just wipe out Romania. I don't know why. It's just so easy. And before they get more garrisons like we just saw from Tunisia, it's actually going to be a little bit close. I've got no friends coming to help me out. Luckily, we're attacking first, so we'll, we should be okay. But let's see. I'm not going to waste any of my mana just yet. Yeah, what does this guy care? What is this rock thing? Let me see if we can get that kill. We did. Okay, let's get my mana up and then maybe, yeah, do some drugs. All right, good. So we took out Romania. I'm going to keep going in defenses because I, I don't want to get striked down. I think it's time we start attacking up here and eating up all this. Oh, man, my, my territory is just going to be so ugly when I do that. I can at least grab here. Uh, okay. Ukraine can't do anything to stop this. <sighs> Although I'm sure that's what Russia was thinking too. <laughs> nope, nope, we're good. I definitely want Kiev though. Okay, the Ottomans are now attacking one of my territories. I could probably just kill the Ottomans unless there's another territory that they're hiding from me. Let me take Kiev. There's probably something good in here, right? I would think so. Um, I actually could have checked earlier. Let's see what this military camp is. Uh, nope, nothing cool in there. Here's Ukraine though. I will take you. Thank you. I have been meaning to upgrade my... Yeah, well, I guess we'll go ahead and play Fruit Ninja. I don't like playing Fruit Ninja all the time. Two Polish... A Swiss and a Danish. Uh, I swear the country balls that join me in this mini game are just there to distract me. They do every time too. I think I can kill Ukraine by taking this last territory. I'm really surprised that I'm not allowed to just puppet everybody. I thought I had a strategy of easily winning this, but I guess that's not going to be the case. I thought I could just continue to puppet everyone and it's, this is just going to be like a piece of cake. I bet you if I annex somebody, they would let me though, but there's no point in that. That's just going to waste action points. Russian uh, and Russian Soviets have uh, peaced out, which is a little little bit concerning. The Ottomans have declared war on Hungary. I don't know why you did that. Uh, we've got weird Polish territory to worry about. Okay, it's finally time to take out the Ottomans though. So I need to be careful with these really weird borders. I hate having these weird borders, but you know, I don't want to waste time declaring war on somebody else. Might as well clean up what we started. All right, so the Ottomans are gone, but man, there's a pretty big threat from the Soviets. Oh, I like that you have like a little picture of the Kremlin here. Meanwhile, in Frankfurt, it's just like a desert wasteland. Why was I never paying attention to these little pictures before? All right, very strange uh, Byzantine Empire, Greek Byzantine Empire that we got going on here. Some big garrisons along our border, which is a little bit scary. I could probably go kill Poland. Again, we need to get to a place that will offer us a tank, and I am far away from that. The nearest one is uh, Vienna, I believe. So, or you know what? Maybe Moscow. Nope, no Moscow tanks. Weird. There's actually two big, scary uh, rebels next to us. Now, this one's only a seven stack. Can I take that on? It'd be eight versus eight. I don't want to do that. I do not want to risk that. Oh, that's right, but I do. I can take this garrison. Thank you very much for that, Montenegro. So my army has these four. I kind of want to disband this guy, even though he does act as a good meat shield. Maybe I shouldn't. Who do we attack next? Are you down to uh, offer puppet? No. Ukraine is still alive. They're right here. I think this is their last territory. Okay, now they're gone. Is that a bunch of un... Oh, this is all rebel territory. What? Why haven't you taken all this? I will take all that. Oh, you know what? They pro Maybe they have huge garrisons. I bet you that's the case. I kind of do want to go to war with Azerbaijan just so I can get Crimea and stuff like that. Do they have friends? They have enemies, but no friends. Okay, I'm going to go Azerbaijan here next. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, we have to wait. Maybe they'll declare war on me right here. That would be nice. Poland has declared war on Greece. Well, that gives me an option, I guess. Cyprus has declared war 
in Greece. Cyprus is attacking one of my territories. Cyprus is attacking two of my territories. Okay, so we're not at war with two nations. Well, on top of the other ones. Uh, oh, Lebanon declared war on me too. Wow, that's a three-way war. All right, never mind. Azerbaijan, we cool. We is cool for now. Um, This is going to be several... Oh, this is going to be rough. All right, so we are starting to face our first challenges here. Um, Oh, man, I've got a lot of things to improve. Let's work on that attack. Maybe get more mana. I cannot instantly kill Cyprus. Wow, there's a six deck in there. We might need some new friends here. Okay, so let's let's start uh, defending. None of my allies want to help me against Cyprus, even though they attacked me. Isn't it like a defensive pack? What is up with your little hat? I'm actually just trying to make fun of you because I'm kind of pissed. You look dumb with your little hat. <laughs> you should feel ashamed. How dare you attack the great Greek Empire? Okay, well, we've handled the attacks very easily, but I'm a bit more concerned about their capital. Ooh, instant kill. You know what? One thing to keep in mind is the puppets aren't growing with time, right? They're not, their country balls are not getting more and more powerful, so maybe that's why you want to annex them and then get a new puppet, especially if it's like a lot of territory, like for instance, the Soviet Union. That might be the strategy here. I also need to be careful of Poland. Now, Poland's distracted with an, a war against Hungary, but they can go after all this stuff. I bet you this territory is just like, yeah, I, it's got to have crazy rebels down here. Lebanon is now attacking one of my territories. They're attacking several of my territories. Italy has declared war on Libya. Tunisia's declared war on Italy. Um, okay, how many? Okay, you've got so much stuff now. Okay, this is probably why you. I need to garrison units. Or can I kill Cyprus? If I go for the kill with Cyprus that I don't need to war, that's the only way to not lose stuff at this point. But I don't think I can attack them and win. It'd be seven versus seven. I think it's worth it. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Is that, did they give me two? They just gave me two new units. Thank you so much, Egypt. I'm taking both of those. Now that should be enough to set, okay, Montenegro doesn't have anything else for me, but that's okay. Now that does turn the tide. Now I'm bringing nine versus seven. Thank you so much, Egypt. Oh man, I love that we have you in the corner down there. Oh, we really needed to go first too. Okay, this is good. This is pretty good. Now hopefully we get a bunch of one kills, one smacks. Um, get some kills, guys. You've got no kills. You've got no kills. I'm going to just go ahead and make it even worse. I'm going to attack this 44 sec. I knew I was going to have better attack than 44. There we go. Okay, there we go. So this guy's at 7. He's probably going to have to heal. Or maybe not. Where is... Okay, I'm doing okay. Let's use some water to get my mana back. Actually, I'll do this. And then use more water to... Oh, look at that. How efficient. Okay, so we won because we attacked first and we have more dudes. Although I don't think they were that powerful either. Okay, so we just took out Cyprus. Thank, thank goodness. Now we don't have to worry about losing land. Now these are going to be some big battles to fight with Lebanon though. Okay, let me just go ahead and defend my land now. Britain is helping me against Lebanon. Oh, they got an interesting country ball here too. That means that Britain would be helping me bring in 10 country balls into battle, so we actually should be able to defeat some of those bigger garrisons. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go after this city right now. Oh, wait, I just, that's right. I just used up all my attacks, all my actions at least for this turn. Hopefully they only launch one extra attack. Sweden and Latvia have become allies. Oh good, they didn't attack me. Nice. Okay, it's 10 versus 5. 10 v 5, we got this. Great Britain is a 100 country ball right here. My dude is nowhere near that level of power. Although they're putting a lot of their points into health. I'm putting all mine into attack. Alright, bam. We've captured this territory. What do we got up in here? We've got a barracks for some attack training, but I don't care about that. And I can recruit to him, but we've got enough dudes. We're okay. Do we do this massive battle here? What does this even... What do these numbers look like? 10 versus 7. I'm gonna go ahead and go into it. Let's see. Oh boy. Okay, luckily we're attacking first. That could have been bad though. I'm definitely gonna give my guy a musket so we can just one-shot people. Okay, so he's gonna be looking real good. 65 plus. Okay, we can probably attack the biggest dude they got. Probably this one. Wait, it, that wasn't the biggest dude they got. But if I attacked him, he would have been still alive. So I guess I made that mistake for a good reason. Yeah, we need some tanks. We need some tanks. I need to move up. I need to move up. Okay, so uh, we have one more and then we can kill Lebanon next turn. We've defeated most of their big garrisons. Man, I've got a lot of points that I am not using. Let me get a bunch of health because I saw Britain was at 101. I should probably be at 101 too. Time to relax. Eat some fruit. Finally time to rid the world of Lebanon. You are welcome world. Just kidding. If you didn't attack me, I wouldn't be so bitter. Luckily, Poland did not. We could have been in such a bad situation because if Poland was actually fighting me up here, then luckily, uh, yeah, we can actually kill Poland, I think. Or, or is that territory? Oh, Polish territory is here too. Is the British helping me out? Yeah, the British are helping me out against Poland. Oh man, Poland's looking pretty epic. They got like ninjas and stuff. We've got a huge army. I love, this is so cool. I love how like as the game progresses, you're bringing in this like rag. To, it feels like Guardians of the Galaxy. You're bringing in like the Avengers over time, like just who that, look, I'm getting another 
another recruit. Now, if I annex one of these puppets, do I lose all the dudes that they've given me? That might be a pretty big risk. So you really got to be careful on who you're uh, puppeting in the very beginning because they're going to be like integral parts of your empire for the rest of the game. Now I'm too afraid. This is just so sad. You got one dude versus this massive army right here. I probably have a chance of defeating this 10 stack. We're not going to do that, but it would be interesting. So I need to get to Vienna, like I keep saying. I don't know how Moscow is not producing any tanks. I really like Moscow, though. I love this, like, just chunky boy. Like, the borders are not ugly. They look good. I want to attack Azerbaijan next. Although they've been pretty nice to me. You know, they didn't... Oh, we could probably attack Tunisia and finally kill them. Maybe. I'm not actually sure about that. I didn't realize I had, like, 5,000 gold just sitting here. Technically, I only have three cards. Let's get, like, a cool card, I guess. It's, like, the most expensive card we can buy. Blade Master, we can afford that. Legendary, who wants to be a Blade Master? It doubles your attack power. And it's only for 20 mana. This laser gun is 75 mana. I guess scrolling down... Oh, yeah, scrolling down, it is ordered by expensiveness. Gives 12 attack and 7 defense to all allies. That is way too OP. Oh, it's 60 mana. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. That's cool. Heals 25 damage and feels... Oh, this is even better. Why didn't I get that? That's 0 mana. Gives that instant health and mana. Okay, I need to save up for chocolate. Love chocolate. We don't really want to worry about that guy. We'll need to start offering puppet. Here we go. Look how look how much more powerful I am than you. What do you, what do you mean? Offer puppet. Let's go. There we go. Finally, I got a puppet. A new puppet. It's pulling. They're deep in here. Oh, and I'm taking all those troops. I'm a little bit concerned that I don't have a direct territory with one of my puppets. That's kind of scary. Czechoslovakia is getting destroyed right now. Multiple sides. I bet you now I can probably fight these rebels. We've got so many. 17 versus 5. I'm going to go in without any... Okay, wait, let me just make sure. <laughs> Should I save first? No, I'm just gonna jump in. Wish I would've had chocolate. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why does this always happen? Okay, okay, hold on. I need to give myself some water. <laughs> I'm scared. Let me drink some water first. Okay, that increases my mana. My health is already maxed out. I really need to hope that they do not kill me. Oh, boy. So we've got five more than them. I still win the battle even if my dude gets killed. Don't get any kills. Don't get any kills. Okay, they're getting, they're getting, they got two. They got three. They got four. Wow, that evens. They instantly made it more even. Okay, I need to get a kill. I have a musket. I don't know if I can kill this 173 guy. I probably cannot. I'm gonna kill maybe a 67 with the musket. Yeah, we have 85 attack. Come on, guys. Get some kills. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. Oh, don't sleep. Don't sleep. You're gonna just die next turn. Get... Make sure you attack one... Okay, at least you got that kill. Okay, good. I have more water. Let's drink some more water here, and I'm gonna go ahead and put defenses on my guy. Uh, I might even... Okay, I can't spend to put a wooden barricade in front of anybody else. Don't attack me as long as my guy is good. I mean, even if it... Uh, I don't know. A lot of them are having to sleep, so I guess that's good. Oh, man. Okay, so what are we looking at now? I guess we'll just wait. I can do 85 damage. I'll go ahead and take out this guy. Okay, this is the chunky boy that I need to worry about. He's even having a helmet. I don't know how he's so powerful. Okay, it's two versus... They haven't even attacked my main dude yet, so that's nice. Let's use some more water, and I guess that's about it. All right, I think we got this. That was really concerning, though. We should get way more money for that. I can pro... I don't know if I... I could probably take on these guys if I really wanted to, and we know that we could probably beat them. I don't I want to say easily, but pretty easily. Is this territory even worth it? I don't think it is, to be honest. 17 versus 11. It's actually a little bit better chance this time. Okay, and we're going first. Okay, we got it this time. Wow, that that was scary. Okay, where's my dude? Okay, take take some water and then take this. Let's see how badly we just utterly obliterate them now. We have a numbers advantage. Who's their big guy? That's their big guy. I'm gonna take out the 58 stack. It's not a stack. I don't know why I called it a stack. It's just a dude. This whole thing is technically one stack that we're fighting. Montenegro, I know you got some powerful punches in there. Okay, with the guys with the guns make it hard to see what's going on. I guess that's one thing if if they don't get the kill, they usually just sleep anyways. All right, that one was really simple. I don't even think... I think we lost... Did we even lose anybody? All right, well, that was worth it. I still want to attack Azerbaijan, I think, next turn. Especially because if there are a bunch of rebels um, off into, like, Siberian lands, we can... We know we can kind of face them, kind of. There's a lot of wars happening in the rest of Europe. We've got quite the empire, though, over here. Okay, they've got no friends. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on them. Watch a bunch of AIs declare war on me next turn now, though. Ooh, that might be enough to just puppet them instantly. Declare war. Give me that puppet. Give me that puppet. Nice. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, okay. Okay, we've got a very big, thick Azerbaijan, and there really isn't that many people over here. They're, I mean, we have to worry about this six stack, but even the six stack's not as bad as what we saw before. I'm gonna go ahead and just to fight the... Wait, actually, no. I'm not gonna fight them. I'm gonna go after some of this other stuff, because I don't think the AI can fight the six stack. Okay, I'm gonna get even more territory now, and how much... Oh, yeah, that's right. I can, I can take all these guys. Man, these wars are getting huge. Uh, does Azerbaijan have anything else? No. I wouldn't mind annexing Azerbaijan, to be quite honest with you. 
with you, but I guess I'll wait for that. Switzerland has declared war on Serbia. Hungary has declared war on Switzerland. Soviet Union, Russia, things, yeah, whatever. Are these the last rebellion? This is a territory of rebels. And two more. They gave me two more, guys. No one is going to be able to take this six stack, so I'll go after the easy stuff first. Okay, my army is just getting, like, to ridiculous levels at this point. This is... <laughs> A little bit funny. It's just one dude, but we sent them all in. I guess this is why they ask me if I want to send in everybody. 23 versus 2. That seems very fair. We'll, we'll, we'll fight one big one. 23 versus 7. That's that's nice. Oh, you, you get to go first, too. There you go. This is just so cool. I, I'm, like, still amazed. Like, you, we just bring in so many random country balls into our army, into battle. It really does form, like, a cool team, a specialized team every time you play the game. Hopefully, Azerbaijan can win that territory for me. Oh, they did. So, we have five puppets into our army. Am I allowed? to just like uh puppet my no i can't just puppet my friend persia i'm so much more powerful than you okay so i'm gonna get these last three territories here oh i totally forgot to go buy chocolate okay i can now be charlie in the factory oh man a sniper oh i don't have money for that anymore okay always need to check on my puppets to see if they're giving me any new troops how are my guys getting extra attack where, do, where does that come from? I didn't do any cards for that. I don't know where that comes from. Oh, there's another territory. I didn't even see that. Soviet Union has declared war on Greece. Here we go. Great Britain has declared war on the Soviet Union. All right, here we go. I can't offer to be a puppet. Uh, man, I really like this territory. I like what the AI created here. Just a nice blob. Yes, we're gonna have to destroy this blob. I guess it's good. We can't just keep fighting rebels. Soviet Union, this guy literally looks like Darth Vader. He's gonna have to be Darth Vader in order to take on this huge army. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wait. Now, because I'm attacking the Soviet Union, I do have a chance of killing the rebels myself unless there's a random pocket of rebels somewhere in europe but i i'm really hoping there's not Ooh, maybe right there yeah gotta go all the way to to galicia to take on the rebels well the good thing is i'm sure moscow is going to be some pretty valuable territory for us i wonder if i can just go around looking at like the power of everybody and seeing if i'm like way stronger than others does that make sense if i just go through it doesn't look like i'm i mean i am i don't know why the game doesn't think i'm stronger than like significantly stronger than a lot of these okay, let's go fight this big stack just because I think it'd be fun. That might be a good idea at some point just to go around looking to see if we have a chance of just declaring war and annexing instantly, puppeting instantly. Hey, they're actually getting some kills here because they went first. We need to make a new rule. Everyone, you, the army's too big. You need to have a gun. If you don't have a gun, you can't join the Greek army. I think that's what I want to say. Okay, let's do a bunch of things into health. And then, wow, I've got like no defense. I've just been lucky no one's been attacking me. Man, Crimea is pumping out so many extra units for me. I like it. Moscow looks like a barren wasteland. Ooh, ooh, before I go to the next turn, I, I saw I got the chocolate. Now, if only I can find my character. Where am I? I'm way back here. Okay, Novgorod is next. Look at what you made me do. You're making me destroy your beautiful borders because you declared war on me. I'm almost significantly stronger than the Soviet Union, but not yet. I'm gonna have to waste these action points attacking them. Latvia has declared war on Greece. Well, I guess we have our next new target. Can't attack that one Soviet territory because Russia's attacking that. There's basically a Russian civil war happening. Uh, keep forgetting to use my points. 14 stack. Okay, we probably, we can take that on, I think. I, I think. It was, it was Latvia that was attacking me? There is an 11 stack, which I still, I think we have more than enough still. Because what are we bringing? A 24? Okay. Big battle for Latvia, I guess. But that is pretty much your death blow. Oh, there we go. Okay, we have a new Latvian puppet. The Russian Empire. We do, we can potentially attack them. Okay, so I guess we have to wait till next turn. Hopefully these battles get cleaned up. Soviet Union is gone. They just died to Russia. I didn't get to kill them. Alright, let's go fight these rebels because I think I should be able to take them on. 27 stack versus 16. Oh boy. Okay, that still should be a problem. I don't think. Oh, we don't have chocolate either. Has my guy been taking damage? I don't even, I haven't been paying attention here yet. Take some of that. Okay, I really want to use this one day, this sword and shield. That's, I mean, we can't use the X because I don't have the mana. I need to invest more in my mana. Okay, one more rebel territory down. I think that, I think there's only one more left. Who am I still at war with? I'm still at war with Libya? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we peace, we, we grab that puppet. I'm, for the first time, not at war with anybody in like the last several years. I guess it's only 1897. We started in 1890. I guess I'm just going to look around and see like what kind of instant kills I can get. Oh, but I only have one action turn. Okay, so this is the best thing to do here is probably just to try to gain a friend because I don't want to declare war and then have him attack my territory next turn. I'd be, yeah, I'll be Spain's friend if they want to be my friend. Okay, there we go. Palestine's declare war on Greece. That makes my job easy. Okay, so I guess we're going to get Jerusalem. Oh, well, we're not attacking first, but all right. This army is just ridiculous. Some of these dudes I needed to span. This, like this guy, oh, well, I mean, yeah, he's only got three defense and seven attack. He's literally not doing anything. I think I have enough meat shields at this point where I can probably do that. All right, so Jerusalem is ours. Oh, what 
do we get out of Jerusalem? You think they're not building tanks in Jerusalem? Come on. What is this? I guess I can spend my 5,000 gold on something extra. Changes the enemy attack to zero. One turn only. That seems pretty OP. I guess I'll do that. Yeah, this guy is pretty much worthless. I'm just going to disband him. Egypt's been giving me some pretty powerful units. Oh, uh, this guy's kind of weak. 30s, 30s, 30s. Okay, okay. You guys don't have to keep giving me stuff if you don't want to, you know. I appreciate it, though. Okay, I'm sorry. Azerbaijan just has too much land. I made This is a dumb idea. I'm going to annex Azerbaijan. I want to see what happens. Annex puppet. Azerbaijan is gone. We got a bunch of nice territory. It's much more cleaner now. Okay, good. So all of the units are still there, though. So I still took all their stuff. I just got their land now. Okay, that's not so bad. But yeah, that eats two action points. That's kind of crazy. Estonia's declared war in Greece. That's fine. Can I kill Palestine right now? How many territories do they have? They only have two. I might be able to kill Estonia, too, because what do they have? Like one? Okay, I'm going to go after them. I think they only have one. I can probably kill two nations right here. I love when people attack me like this. It makes my job so much easier. And I guess we're going to add Estonia into the group. Oh, I actually can't kill off Palestine because someone else is attacking them. That's great. Thanks for that. I think it's Hejaz. Portugal and Spain have finally uh, done a peace treaty. Lithuania has declared war on Greece. And Hungary also declared war on Greece. Can we get this kill? Oh, wait. Palestine has two territories and people are attacking us. Lithuania has more than two territories. Oh, we're going to lose stuff. We're definitely losing land this turn because I can't kill everyone here. I can't actually even kill. There's still a battle here going on. I don't even know what to do. Uh, I can't kill Lithuania. I guess I'll just give myself... Okay, we're losing territory. That sucks. Actually, I could have just gone around like defending all my territory and then didn't lose anything, but whatever. Lithuania's got a lot of Lithuanians over here for, you know, just one... You know, they only had like a couple territories under their land. We're like only halfway through our army. Everyone's still attacking. Again, guns only. In fact, you have to come to the front lines, go all the way to the front line, slap, then go back. It's taking too much time. Actually, maybe I can... Wait, I'm at war with Estonia? No, no, Estonia's my friend. What am I talking about? I guess I'll try to defend some of this stuff. Um, I'll give Hungary my other land. That's fine. It's not fine, but uh, Hungary's got a, a big chunk, pretty hefty empire. I don't want to give an empire that only has one land, uh, more land. I'd like to kill them more easily next turn. I don't think I've ever lost land in this game before. Hungary's attacked another one of my territories. Oh, they're going down, down here now. Wow, yeah, Hungary is pretty chunky. Oh, I think some of this is Serbia. Yeah, some of that's Serbia. Oh my goodness, can you stop this battle, please? Okay, and there we go. I needed some extra characters. They just look like my territory. There, yeah, they're my puppet. Oh, Sweden's now declared war in Greece. People continue to attack me. Definitely some world wars happening, though, that's for sure. Does anyone look weak enough where they'd accept some sort of puppet thing that happens? Maybe Lithuania? No. Where is the rest of Lithuania? Is that it? Can I even attack that? No. I'm gonna declare a war on Hejaz just so that, like, I can actually attack and kill Palestine, because it's just getting ridiculous. Do they have any friends? Oh, they do have Saudi Arabia as, a, as an ally. You sent one dude out here to attack 24. I'm gonna continue to eat Hungarian lands, because this is gonna take a minute. Alright, I'm gonna start puppeting uh, some AI. Okay, Sweden is gonna be a little bit annoying. Hungary's also attacking some of my territory. Oh, finally. Okay, I I'm gonna go in after and finally take out Palestine. No wonder that battle was going on. I mean, I guess they do have some things here, but that was crazy. Ooh, this has got some buildings around here. This is cool. This place is nice. Should have taken this over a long time ago. Why doesn't the other places got buildings like this? Uh, I don't think I want any more puppets. I'm gonna be real here. I really do not think we need any more puppets. Reach maximum limit? I, I just reached my army limit finally. 20 is the max I can bring, or is it just from that... Uh, one nation. Nope. It is maximum army limit. So what we probably want to do is actually disband some of the really weaker ones. Like this guy that I got. He's like an 11 stack. Okay, we're going to take him out because this guy's a 43. Here we go. This guy is this guy from Poland. Was it 11? Because I'm sure Egypt's giving me something better than that. Yes, yeah, is a 43. This would be nice so that we can just like kill the enemy faster. That's what we really need to be doing right now. Sweden's going to keep on attacking me unless I go after their capital. I think I might have to do that. You can see why we reached our army limit. Like we, you can't, um, you can almost not fit physically any more people into the game. Can I even attack there? I can't. Why can you attack my territory, but I can't attack yours? That's not fair. I might peace out with Sweden then if that's the case, because I don't want to have to keep on... Oh, they just... Okay, that cool. That's cool. That is cool. I really was not expecting that. Can we just peace out with Hungary too then? No. Oh, wow. So I'm going to have to eat the loss there with Hungary. Oh, actually, Hijaz just finally declared war on me. Thank you for that. I've been wanting to kill you anyways. They also did not pull down Saudi Arabia. I can probably go around and just disband anyone that doesn't have a gun. Like, I can actually make that a policy for my army. That'd be kind of cool. Although my main dude doesn't have a gun, but that's, yeah, I just have to deal with that. He 
He's got quite the slap though. Okay, Hejaz is gone. Does it show me? Yeah, it does show me like who has a musket and who, well, Egypt has a musket, but he's kind of weaker. Sword, sword. I wonder if certain countries are more likely to have a gun rather than like a melee weapon. There we go. There's a 21 with just a sword. Gonna disband that. I don't even know who is giving me. Oh my goodness. Look at how much Sweden is giving me. We got some crazy Swedish soldiers. Oh, but these guys are weak. Uh, I'll take this guy with the German pistol. Give me some more here, Sweden. Uh, I, I don't really want those. Is that a pike? That's cool. Oh yeah, I want this guy. 45. I like that. And these guys just have swords. Okay, slowly I'm going to start getting rid of all the sword people. Maybe not even slowly. Maybe I'll just disband the sword people right now. I'll bring less into battle, but we're doing so fine. That sounds like some famous last words. Some of these are really powerful dudes, but I just don't want them to have swords anymore. <laughs> it just takes too long. If they, everyone could just like do a line of shots, that would be cool. Not alcohol. Okay, guns, guns, guns. I like that. Oh, I think I did it. Who are my other puppets? I've got a ton of puppets. I'm just not paying attention to all of them. Okay, we, we do have a lot of swords. Uh, the problem is, yeah, like my puppets come in. I think the puppets actually do come in with a weapon, but some of them aren't. Some of them are bringing their, their swords. I'm gonna annex all the puppets with the sword. Lithuania is gone. I didn't even get that kill. Come on, just accept the puppet hungry. Okay, I do gotta admit, it does go way faster when they're just taking shots. Well, the problem is, yeah, these guys need to annex Montenegro probably because he has a sword. Do I want Hungary as a puppet? I guess. Do I really? No, I don't want Hungary as a puppet. I really don't want any more puppets. I really want to just clean up behind enemy lines. I wasn't at war with anybody, but now I am. Okay, so they're gonna attack me a couple times, and that's okay. Ooh, Russia just declared war on me. And they're actually attempting to fight, a, take a lot of my territories. Ooh, ooh, please take this. Thank you, thank you. I did not want to have to keep fighting Russia. They were gonna be really annoying. Wow, these borders are ugly. Uh, do you have any guys with guns? Yes. Oh, that guy's weak though. Still, I'll take the guns. No bats. Who's that else? How's that? Oh, is that war with Georgia? So now we can just focus our efforts on them. I'm just looking at this army again. Just with such a ragtag bunch of people. The most random thing. We got Azerbaijan, Poland, Montenegro, uh, Saudi Arabia, or is that Libya? I can't even really tell exactly who I have, who I don't have. Ooh, this Armenia has got, we should probably just wipe out Armenia. Please, Armenia, just declare war on me so I can save an action point. Georgia, that's fine. T attack my stuff if you want. I'm gonna kill you right now, Georgia. No more puppets. I just want to kill you. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and ruin my, or get rid of, remove ally. I think this counts as an action point, right? Yeah, okay. And then we're probably gonna kill, maybe try to kill two nations next turn. Actually, I can't because I gotta declare the war. Persia declared war on, oh, thank you. Oh, that's really nice. I appreciate that. Now we can just kill you really quick. Persia had a pretty huge army though over here, I will say. And with them wiped out, I'll just instantly declare war on Armenia. You would really think that Armenia would just accept whatever. You should definitely accept that, but alright, you wanna go down like this? I will let you go down like this. Now, I I like that I'm having my allies, my allies are pretty much on the other side of the map, so I don't gotta worry about, well, Spain is kinda closer to me, but Britain will, can be my friend for a very long time. Weird that as soon as I remove that ally, Persia instantly declared war on me. Alright, so we just cleaned up two nations really nice and easy there. I just wanna take out these two next. Then we don't have to worry about anyone behind our front, and then even the north, cause we have Russia. We have all this stuff, which is really nice. I really wanna annex Russia, cause it's so ugly. Two uh, puppets, you know, I might start annexing some people. I'm gonna declare war on Iraq first. Did I, did they even have an ally? I don't, I don't know about that. If they are allied to Saudi Arabia, no, I guess they're not allied to Saudi Arabia. All right, we're actually gonna lose a lot of people here because I'm, I'm fighting a pretty big uh, battle for Mosul. They had eight dudes and they went first. I mean, I don't think this is even gonna be close. Yeah, it's already our attack. I actually might survive one round though, surprisingly. They're, yeah, they're gonna get close. Oh, nope, never mind. Probably get my health to max out at 200. Oh wait, you can go more than 200? Probably get mana above there and then everything else into attack. Well, I only got 32 defense. People just don't attack me. Okay, it's time to take on Iraq. Take out Iraq. They're attacking two of my territories. So we gotta get rid of them. Alright, there you guys go. Thank you so much for playing. Ooh, it looks like I can almost puppet Denmark. I might give that a shot. I was just going around looking at, like, power levels and things like that. Let's go to the next turn. Although, Denmark could be kind of annoying. I'm not at war with anybody else, so I guess it's not a super big deal. They did not attack my territory. Okay, I'll take that. Wait, I'm at war with Saxony? I didn't even realize that. Um, I'd rather puppet Denmark, though. Can I do that? Nope. Didn't work. What about the Netherlands? Oh, so they had some friends. Okay, I'm just gonna puppet Saxony then. Denmark is in a huge huge mess. Wait, so if my puppet loses territory, then it does it not matter. Iceland's declared war on Greece. That's fine. Great Britain. Oh, I was going to say, I thought Great Britain was finally going to uh, break up. with. Okay, Ice Denmark is gone. I'd like to turn my sights towards Saudi Arabia again. Or wait, is this Egypt? Oh no, sorry. This is, yeah, Saudi Arabia. No puppet there, possibility. But what about in the Netherlands? No puppet there either. Definitely, Saudi Arabia definitely won't accept a puppet offer, but that's okay. You can just go right in after their capital. They
They do have a 10 stack here, which is not bad. Ooh, I don't know. I don't like that. Oh, yeah. I need to make sure I'm giving my character chocolate because uh, I have been getting a little bit kind of attacked. I've also been upgrading my health, too. That's kind of part of it. I feel like when you make me go all the way down to take out every single one of your territories, like, I'm really not going to want to puppet you. Prussia just attacked me. Right, Saudi Arabia is gone. I have no one to worry about behind enemy lines. Now, Prussia just declared war, but uh, I don't think Prussia is that big. Netherlands, you should just take this, honestly. You should take this deal. Oh, apparently Prussia is more powerful than me. I guess ball wise they're more po is that where it comes down to just the ball power <laughs> his balls are more powerful than mine so if i make my ball way more stronger i'm gonna be able to puppet more people that's basically what you're telling me what's better than to put it into attack or what well i'm definitely gonna keep that in mind so that i can keep on doing stuff with that rush is probably gonna tag me next turn but that's okay oh they didn't do it Hmm. Let's keep going with that attack. Iceland, you have eight attack right now. You have eight attack and you're still not willing to just peace out or at least puppet. There's like a weird choke point right here. There's like a garrison with a little sliver of land that we have to fight through with Prussia. Prussia is bringing their buddy Iceland into the battle. Keep in mind that they're, they are able to like one slap a lot of my army members. I probably need to reorganize uh, my armies here. Ooh, there is an 11 stack that I'm gonna have to take on and they just upgraded it. Wow, Prussia's not even willing to peace out with me. Honestly, I'm just gonna end this because I, I don't want to keep going. This is, this is excruciating. This is too easy. Once I started puppeting people, I just started rolling over everyone. I love the chaos that's happening in Europe, though. It's just like a wave of purple that's gonna take over anything that I put my- I'm just like, if they don't accept my puppet, I don't wanna have to drive all the way through their empire. Greek empire is already here. Clearly need to play this game on, like, extreme difficulty next time. And big thanks to the patrons. I am the kidnapper. I oofed Drew since no one paid his ransom. This channel's now North run by AI. Montenegro. Australia is Zane real. I'm not Argentina. No. The $20 is a lot true. Asher, Bright Bright Bad, 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 Chester, Kiori, 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 Tiny, Garbalas, Inquisitor, Traitor, Isaiah, Trenter, Fox and Tenma, The Poor Robert, The Wayne, Comlo, 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 The Wayne,